welcome dear students i am dr atul bhattar i am teaching the subject design tool workshop in short we call it as dtw in this subject there are four cus co1 co2 co3 co4 in co1 the topic is office and documentation means whatever document or report you prepare we are going to discuss about that generally the software we use for making any kind of report are microsoft word pdf format in notepad we type something we prepare some report notepad correct then there is another thing like latex and more on so now today's topic we will discuss about microsoft word so every system is having a office in build that is microsoft office in under microsoft office there are many components like microsoft word microsoft excel microsoft powerpoint and so on in this subject we will deal with microsoft word microsoft excel and microsoft powerpoint so first of all i am going to discuss about microsoft word word is nothing but to prepare any kind of document as you can see here at the top there is a symbol of floppy disk this is used for save purpose beside that there is undo and redo at present this undo and redo is not it is hidden it is not activated it depends when you write start writing something then only this commands will activate below that you can see here it is written home insert page layout reference mailing review view this is nothing but a toolbar different kind of tools are available here then this white space is the thing where you are going to write your matter your material okay so first thing is home in the home you can see here calibri body this is a font type you click here in the drop down menu you will see here different types of fonts are available whatever you want to select you can select that particular one then next this 11 this is not trick but font size which size you want generally documents are prepared in 10 or 12 so i am selecting 12 here font i am selecting times new roman you can scroll down or we just type here times new roman it is i typed on the ti it is showing times new roman just click enter selected okay now i will write something some matter okay for example i am writing good morning everyone okay this is times new roman and 12 now suppose this morning i will change i have selected morning okay then i will selecting algerian now you can see the difference morning is looking something different correct so this is algerian form remaining is times new roman next everyone i will decrease the size i selected it now you can see the difference in the size correct now either you can change size from here or another option is this grow font to increase the size shrink font to decrease the size now suppose i want to increase the size again i will select this i will click on this now you can see it is changing correct it became 12 automatically so this is the use of this two tools next bullet bullet means when you write number of points many number of points then we use the bullet option so for writing many points what i will do i will use copy and paste there are different shortcuts like copy paste cut do redo undo find replace many things are there for those things some shortcuts are there for example 
I want to copy. For copy, first select this, press the left mouse, okay, left side mouse. Now, for copy, press Control C, Control C, okay. Enter, press Enter, come to the next line, and Control V, Control V will paste, okay. So, Control plus C is for copy, same control plus V is for paste. Then another thing X, control X for cut. If you want to cut something, this is the shortcut, control X. Next, control S. Control S is for save. Okay. Next, Control N. Control N is for using opening new window, new page. Control V. Now Control O to open the new file. Next, anyone? Control Z, yes, Control Z. Why it is used? For undo. Good. Next, Control F. F is for? Yes, good. Find. You people know very much. Good. But some of you, they might be using the computer for first time. For them, it will be useful. Those who know, it is very good for them. So, these are some shortcuts. Other than this, there is control plus B for bold. What is this bold? I will tell you afterwards. One by one, I will tell you everything. Control I, italic. Yes, correct. Right answer. Where you see bold and italic? When you change the font style. Yes, bold, italic. Another thing, what you will do is underline, good. U for underline. How it is used? I will explain one by one. Now, first control C, as I told you, select anything, press control C. Now, press control V. So, you can see here, it is pasted. So, at a time, I have used first two commands control C and control V, copy and paste. Now, I want to cut, suppose I want to cut everyone, what I will press? See the command? Yes, control X, control and X, you can see it is cut. Now, control S for save, yes, press control S, you can save this document. See, it is asking to save, I do not want to save right now, but you can save like this, okay. Next, control N. I will press control and you can see what will happen. The new word file has opened, correct? Next, control O. See, control O for open. It is asking to open any document. So, these are some shortcuts. Some likewise control Z for undo, control F for find something. Suppose, I will press control F, it is asking to find something. What you want to find? Suppose I find to, I want to find n, I will type n, here you can see find, find next, you can see in the document it is highlighted in blue color, again next another n, another n like this, you can find, in the same way you can f replace something, how control, This is used for shifting left right alignment, for left right alignment, okay. In same way, if I press control L, it will come to left, control L for left, correct. Now, find 
you can do by shortcut also and you can see here all on the right side bottom you can find here the tool for find in the same way for replace also you can find here ok. So, you can do from here also control H ok. Next control B suppose I selected this bold now I will press control B see the difference you can see this is more bold thick the font is thick correct compared to others why it is bold now italic I selected electric italic I will press control I you can see it is changed into italic font correct in the same way I want to underline this so I will press control U you can see underline. So, these are some shortcuts which are useful. Next same things can be done from here also like alignment left control L I is told either you can do like from here also here control E for center control R for right control J for justify. So, shortcuts are also available here sometimes what happens mouse is not working then you can use keyboard shortcuts which is very much fast ok. So, then here you can arrange it short sorting means as you can arrange in ascending or descending order ok. So, use all these options it will be helpful for you. Now, I want to highlight something I have chosen this color you can choose other colors also suppose I am choosing this green now I will select you can see now it is highlighted now. So, this is the use of highlight. Now, this is used for changing the font color at present font color is what? It is black in color correct. Now, suppose I want to change it uh, see I am selecting this light blue. Now, I will select this font I will select this light blue color. Now, you can see the difference others are in black color this is in the light blue color correct this is use of this. So, one by one you can cross check all these options insert you want to insert some shape see here lot of shapes are available whatever you shape you want you can select from here ok. In same way you want to select any picture you want to insert any picture you want to insert any kind of chart you used to plot charts na if you want to insert any chart you can insert from here text box word art there are different word arts for example, let me select anything I am selecting this undo now I am selecting word art I am selecting this one undo what is the difference you can see correct. So, this is how you can change the word art now I will undo it how to undo control Z corrects I will press control Z you can see again it is in the original form. So, this is how now you can insert some symbols mathematical symbols equations from here ok. Then page layout margin you want how many number of columns some document you see in books also sometimes it is made in two columns sometime single column sometime multiple columns are there. So, you can set all these attributes page layout from here orientation generally it is in the portrait form your A4 printout whichever you take it is in the portrait form, but sometime number when you insert any kind of table if number of columns are vertical columns are more then that time you will select landscape what will happen at by default is portrait now if I will change landscape you see the difference the width is increased correct. So, like this you can change the orientation then page color also you can give page border. So, all these are attributes useful for you when making or preparing any kind of document then view here just see this carefully there is nothing in the top. Now, I will select this ruler option what is the difference here I got some how much width I want to set I can set in the same way in the vertical I can set 
here also a ruler. This is the use of ruler. Next, split. What will happen in the split? At right now, my cursor is where? At the new. Now, I will click on this split. What will happen? See, I will put my this here. No, you can see two pages. What is the difference? Suppose here on the top page, here is the scroll bar. The down page also on the right side here, there is a scroll bar. Now, when I am coming to the upper window, I am changing this scroll bar. What is happening? Think things written in the top window are changing, but nothing is happening in the downside window. Correct? Now, I am changing downside. So, things are changing in the downside page, but nothing is happening in the upper side window. So, this is the use of split. Now, I will remove this. I will make it original form. So, this is all about Microsoft Word. I hope I am clear. Now, you can see I have written many material. So, this undo and redo is also available with you. So, this is how we are using Microsoft Word. If you have any doubt, you can ask me query. Otherwise, good day everyone. We will meet in the next session. Thank you.